You're watching TV Asia, home away from home. Welcome back. ASHA means hope, and ASHA for Women, a non-profit organization, dedicates its services to provide community-based support to South Asian women and their children who have faced domestic violence, thus giving them hope through empowerment. Founded in 1989, it was created in response to the needs of South Asian women who face language, cultural, and social barriers and fall through the cracks of the domestic violence service system. Funds are essential for the charity that aims to empower women to become self-reliant. And for this purpose, the organization holds gala dinners. Recently, Sir Dexo and George Mason University's Johnson Center in Virginia hosted the ASHA for Women 21st Annual Gala. It was a wonderful evening of presentations where donors gave generously. Debashish Ray has the details. We work with uh, South Asians who are uh, going through some problems with domestic violence. We work with women and children. We have been around for the last 21 years. Uh, we are practically an all-volunteer organization. We only have one part-time employee. Uh, we work with women. We, they, they call us. We have a, a hotline where we will evaluate the situation. And then they work with uh, trained uh, advocates. We give financial assistance, uh, referrals, uh, we go to court with them, whatever their needs are, we will work with them. Sometimes it's for a month, two months, sometimes it's for years. Whatever their needs are, we try to meet them. Uh, our annual dinner today is a fundraising dinner and this is the money that we collect to help the family. It's an incredible organization that does work to support women who are abused and battered. And although most of us as Indian Americans would like to think that this problem does not exist in our community, it is inevitable that it will exist in every community, including ours. The love, the dedication, the support of the volunteers of the ASHA board and of every single person who's attending the event and who's supporting our community is so much appreciated. As a treasurer, I've, it's been a pleasure working for ASHA, especially knowing that 92 to 95 percent of all the funds that we raise for ASHA go directly to our clients, directly to the victims of domestic violence. ASHA for Women is a non-profit organization with a motto, hope through empowerment. It is doing commendable service for women and children of the community. The organization work is made possible by selfless volunteers and philanthropists who dedicate themselves to a cause of helping humanity. This Asha for Women Gala was made possible by Chef Rajiv Jaggi, who organized the event and coordinated between various vendors and donors. I would like to introduce our incoming president, Priya Kulkarni, and our, and our executive director, Lakshmi Ayappa. I hope I hope all of you had a chance to meet them. If not, uh, you will be seeing them a lot. And they will be calling upon you for your support, for your continued support. I say it's an absolute pleasure to be with you this evening to celebrate something that is very close to my heart because Asha represents the empowerment of women. Women who are often overlooked in our communities, women who are in need of support, women who need a better life and want a better life for themselves and for their children, but need some help in doing so. And in my role as Global Chief Diversity Officer, my job, my vocation, and my avocation is basically to level the playing field and make sure that everyone is successful, everyone has opportunities to succeed. And that's why the work that Asha is doing is so near and dear to my heart, because what Asha is doing is empowering women so they can be successful. 
The other thing that I'd like to say is that uh, Asha certainly embodies the spirit of volunteerism and of giving back. It's something that I have often be, uh, been asked, you know, what inspires me um, to do what I do? And, and the answer I have consistently given is my daughters. I have two wonderful daughters, and they are very accomplished and they're very wonderful, but what I'm most proud of, what I admire the most, what really inspires me is their desire and their willingness to serve in the community.